if you're one of the many people who still feels really disappointed and demoralized and even possibly depressed as a result of Nina Turner's defeat to Chantel Brown, look, you are not alone, first of all. But second of all, I think that this piece of news, what Nina Turner may be hinting at, might make you feel a little bit better. Now, there's no definitive way to say with certainty that she's definitely saying she's going to run for Congress in 2022. Having said that, though, if you listen to what she's saying, it seems very likely that she is hinting at another congressional run that she'll be starting shortly. Take a look. I just want to thank all of you. I just want to take this time and just thank you so much for all of your support. I want to thank Akron. You guys came through for sister. Thank you so very, very much. And we're just getting started. The mission is still the same. No matter what, the mission stays the same. And guess what? You know what I want you to know? I'm walking. I am in good spirits. I am going to take some time to decompress and spend a little time with my family and reset, kind of commune with God a little more. And baby, we coming out stronger than ever. So guess what? I am saying to you that I am going to make a, an announcement in September, probably mid-September, and I'm going to need you, okay? Because remember, I've always said that we're going to do great things together. I want you to know, keep that market on your calendar. I don't have a date, but I want you to say she said somewhere around mid-September. Mm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sister Turner ain't deterred one bit, baby. <laughs> You know what kind of cloth I'm cut from, right. I owe from the Fannie Lou Hamer, That's right. uh, Congresswoman Shirley Chisholm, Inez Emerson, my grandma, Fannie M. Lewis from the great city of Cleveland, Ohio, baby. I hail from many great heroes and sheroes in the African-American line, baby. Won't stop, cannot stop. So again... Thank you so much, all of you who gave your time, your talent, and your treasure. I don't want anybody to be, I mean, we can be disappointed, Hill. I'm definitely disappointed, but I am not deterred. Can I get an amen? Look, that's Double a sermon. Double amen. That's a sermon. <laughs> disappointed, but not deterred. Mm-mm, baby. No, it's too much great work. The mission, I want you to know, the mission remains the same. Look, there's no way of knowing for sure, but when she says things like, I'm going to be making an announcement probably mid-September, and I'm going to need you... That tells me that she's gearing up for another congressional run. And that is really, really encouraging to see because, look, she was very close to defeating Chantel Brown. And if Cori Bush can lose to Lacey Clay, the incumbent Democrat, by 20 points in 2018, come back and defeat him just two years later... I think it's absolutely worthwhile for Nina Turner to try again. And the good news is that even if, you know, it may be more difficult to defeat Chantel Brown as an incumbent Democrat because incumbents have the incumbency advantage, you know, it's not going to be like the situation where this is a special election and turnout is especially low and you have all eyes on this one race, which means that all of the super PACs are going to dedicate the additional time that they have in an off year to try to, you know, sabotage the progressive. She has a great shot if she runs again, right? DMFI can no longer just focus all of their resources for the quarter on this one race. There's going to be other progressives running across the country, so they're going to have to apply their resources in a more thin way. Uh, on top of that, if more people turn out to vote and support Nina Turner, if there's if there's already a heightened awareness of an election taking place in 2022, hopefully this can increase the chances. I think that you know it's still going to be a tough race. It's not like you know her victory is going to be a foregone conclusion. I, I've been trying to emphasize this from the very beginning when she announced that she was running back in December. But I think that if she tried again, there's a big enough chance to where it would be worthwhile to dedicate all of that time and energy into fighting for her. So this time, if we have a second chance, if she really is going to run again, if that's what the announcement is, which seems very likely, don't, please, please, please don't sit this one out. Get involved. Understand that these races are very difficult. Understand that she needs all hands on deck and if you can volunteer for Nina Turner, but again, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say all of that before it's official. She could be hinting at something entirely different. But if we have a second chance here, I'm gonna make the best of it. But for now, I really hope that she does take some time off because running a congressional campaign is absolutely exhausting. And uh, we'll, we'll wait and see. I'll, I'll you know announce what she says, or I'll report on what she announces mid-September, but hopefully it's another congressional run. If not, then I support her in any endeavor that she chooses to pursue.